Out on the parade ground, they march before the reviewing officer, as trim and smart as veterans. Officers, post. March. since the morning they first rolled through the gates at Fort Des Moines. They're soldiers now. Watch them execute eyes right as they march by the reviewing stand. Proud of the uniform they wear, conscious of their responsibility to the Corps and to the country which they have volunteered to serve. Yes, they're soldiers now. And then, the graduation ceremony itself. Attend. Cut. Present. Her. This is the day when the enrolled WAC becomes an officer in the Woman's Army Corps. Now she is ready to take command of others. As a commissioned officer, she has a double responsibility and a double duty, which she is now trained to fulfill. Mary Sawyer. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Elizabeth Wooden. Stephanie Check. This graduation address will be made by the director of the Corps, Colonel Ovita Kalp Hobby. You have just been commissioned as officers in the Women's Army Corps. I congratulate you and welcome you as this solemn threshold to service is reached. You are a part of the first Corps of Women, exclusive of the Army Nurse Corps, to serve with the Army of the United States. Respect your uniform. Respect all that it stands for, so that the world, in turn, may respect what the Corps stands for. You do not come into a military organization that has an established tradition. You must help make your own. We are well reminded that we have one tradition, the tradition of all the brave American women throughout our history, who have loved and served this country. Their dedication to freedom is one with ours. We shall not fail them. We shall not fail in our trusteeship for the American women of the future, wherever you serve. Whether here, in the field, or abroad, you are dedicated to the preservation of a free way of life. This must be our main objective until the war against the Axis is won and we build a peace upon the unconditional surrender of our enemies. We shall pay our debt to democracy. We shall keep our date with destiny. Here they are, fully trained and equipped wax ready to leave their training center and take up the duties that will release men for combat duty at the front. Today, American soldiers are fighting the Axis aggressors on a dozen blazing fronts. Slowly but surely, they are turning the tide of battle in favor of the United Nations. Once again, the American doughboy is proving himself more than a match for the enemy because he comes to these far-flung battlefields trained and prepared by maneuvers that simulate conditions in actual combat. And here, in some southern state, is staged just such a maneuver. And the wax, who can never come near to actual combat, may be called upon to help in this vital preliminary training. Behind the lines of this mock battle is General Travers' headquarters. Where is everybody? Our headquarters company was sent up to reinforce Colonel Sims. You mean to say they left my field headquarters completely unmanned? Yes, sir. They needed every man, but we phoned for replacements. How the devil am I supposed to contact the pass without a radio operator? Well, sir, just as soon as our new headquarters personnel arrives, here they are now, sir. Is Dad all right? Cold all over. Oh, don't let that old sour push. Sergeant Hart. Yes, ma'am. Lieutenant Sawyer reporting with replacements, sir. Well, I don't know what this war's coming to anyway. We need a crew of specialists, and they sent us a bunch of women. Right, sir. Women who are trained as clerks, typists, radio, and switchboard Did you say officers. radio? Yes, sir. And the one we're not welcome. Sergeant Travis! 
Make it 20 to 1 and I'll take it. Yes, ma'am. Sergeant Travis is an expert radio operator and technician, sir. She better be. Very well, Lieutenant, take over. Fly base. Yes, sir. These are only training maneuvers, but they are in deadly earnest. For every strategy of actual warfare is employed and studied in this practice attack. When our soldiers face the enemy along the many fronts of war, they will be prepared. Dad, Dad! Uh. I mean, sir. Colonel Sims reports our troops advancing all along the line. Excellent, excellent. And, uh, <clears throat> Sergeant Travers. Yes, sir? You're a pretty good soldier. Thank you, sir. Yes, they're all good soldiers. The Woman's Army Corps. Thousands upon thousands of women who, for the duration of the war, have dedicated their services to the Army of the United States. Women who have volunteered to do their part to keep their country's flag flying through to victory. Women at war. America salutes you.